Microsoft has now released the new version of Visio 2010. This is why we upgraded the ITIL process map so that you can make best use of the new features in Visio 2010. At first sight you'll notice that we've modernized colors, fonts and shapes. Visio 2010 now also allows us to open a link diagram with a simple mouse click, which takes us to a diagram on the next level of detail. To return back to the higher level diagram, we can click on one of the superior processes displayed here in the top right corner of the diagram. A click on Change Management, for example, takes us right back to where we came from. Next, Visio 2010 introduced the concept of container shapes. We use that new feature to make it a lot easier for you to insert and modify swim lanes. An example shows why container shapes are so great. If we need to add an additional role to a process, we can now add a swim lane very easily, with just one mouse click. First we label the swim lane with a role. Once we've created a new role shape by dragging a role master onto the diagram, we can use our Visio add-in to simply select the desired role from the repository. Now we can select some activities from one swim lane and drag them into another. Finally, we tidy up the diagram. To make good use of the available space, we adjust the height of the swim lane and the page size. And that's it! If required, the new container shapes even allow you to move whole swim lanes around very easily. Even if you use Visio 2003 or 2007, you'll benefit from another big improvement. The newly introduced status fields. Status fields allow you, for example, to flag processes which are not yet operational. A very helpful feature if you introduce ITIL processes one after another. Let's take a look at an example again. Suppose incident management and request fulfillment are already in operation while event and access management are still in the planning stage. That sort of information can now be managed in the new status field, which you can see here in the Shape Data window. Because all information on processes is stored in our central Excel repository, we head for the repository first and look for the event management processes. Once we found them, we change the information in their status fields. Then we do the same for the access management processes. We change the status values in the relevant cells as well. Back in the process diagram we can now update the shapes, upon which the processes which are in the planning stage turn to grey. Likewise the status fields in the shape data window, here on the right hand side, now show the updated status values. Microsoft also improved the interaction with SharePoint. For demonstration purposes, I stored the Visio files of the ITIL process map on a SharePoint site. There, SharePoint enables us to assign access rights. For example, if some people are to have read-only access only to some of the process diagrams. Upon opening a file, SharePoint asks us whether we want to check out and edit the file. This mechanism ensures that others cannot make changes to the file while we edit it. Once we've got the file open in Visio, we're able to verify that it's checked out. We're now free to modify the diagram. I don't want to make you wait for too long, so for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll just do a simple change to an activity's description. When we're ready, we check the file in again and store it back to the SharePoint site. At the time of check-in, we determine what type of version we want to create, and we enter a brief description of the change we made. After the file is saved, we go back to the SharePoint site. The new version of the file is then instantly available to everyone with access to the site.
including its complete version history. Let's conclude with a remark on compatibility. The latest version of the ITIL process map is still 100% compatible with Visio 2003 and 2007. But some of the features shown in this video, like container shapes and one-click navigation, will only work under Visio 2010.